A lot of people try out new diets for the new year, but what about putting your closet on a diet? This is a new idea. <laughs> All right, it. we're going to do it this morning. We have Janine here from Closets by Design with some expert tips when it comes to cleaning out your closet, out with the old, in with the new. And I feel like your it, closet is a reflection of like your headspace. Your yeah, sanity. And it takes the <laughs> totally. weight off of your shoulders literally when everything is organized and clean. Absolutely. So I would say have a couple of bins in your closet. So as you're going, putting things away, mm -hmm. put it in a toss bin, put it in a donate bin, or put it in a, a wear bin. And then if you're not doing stuff, if you're not wearing it, get rid of it. Is there a certain time frame? Like I hear a lot of people say, oh, I haven't worn this in a year, or I haven't worn this in two years. Is I there a certain? It, I would do it less than that. Really? And in fact, I okay. love to hang my hanger backwards on the rod. Backwards. Okay. okay. So then at the end of, say, three months, if your hanger is still backwards, it means you haven't wow. even worn that. So you that's a visual so indication smart, of, you know. uh, this is some dead weight I'm carrying I'm around. <laughs> holding it. And I think we wear maybe 40% of what right. we actually have in our closet. Wow. Well, would, would we get stuck with like the sentimental value, like, oh, yeah. I, just for like a rainy day or, you know, for that event that I haven't been invited to, like, I'll just keep it in my closet. <laughs> exactly. Maggie, I'm still stuck. hoping she gets invited to that event. <laughs> I never know when I'll wear that. Right, so right. Okay. But that's where I think we get stuck with it. And Absolutely. then it piles up. And since we're talking about diet, a lot of us, not you two ladies, but a lot of us have our skinny clothes and our less than skinny oh, clothes. I have those. So, <laughs> so maybe figuring that out yeah, too. Yeah, sounds good. So we use a lot of um, tools to help us stay organized. So a jewelry insert is great um, to keep all of your earrings and necklaces and, and fantastic yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, so these don't get all tangled so up together, right? they don't get tangled, right? yeah. And then uh, space for rings. Um, hampers, we see a lot of freestanding hampers in closets, which really just take up space. Mm -hmm. This could be built into your closet and covered so you're not looking at your dirty clothes every day. Nice. So that's nice. Um, we have tie racks and belt racks and oh, ballet so they... rods and shoe angled okay. shoe shelves. All of and those that fits things. in. Oh, it, it slides out. Okay. Yeah. That fits in nicely. So then you're not time. looking at them all the time. Right. Um, and then kind of out of sight, out of mind. Double rods. We're only showing one there, but if we double hang something, you're going to get twice the amount of hang. That is super important, <laughs> you know, because especially if you can't break ties with the things, you at least maybe right. can compact them a little <laughs> yeah. bit more, so, right? There you go. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful. Yeah, right. thank you for coming in. Where can we thank find you. out more about you? So you can call us at 1-800-CLOSETS or you can okay. call us locally at Closets by Design. So will you come over to like I my will, place? and I will come to your house. Okay, so you, you do house calls. She's going to do all the work I for you. I come right to your house. We walk through your closet, <laughs> uh -huh. see what your needs are. I design it for you right there. Wow. And, then we have you on and our that's schedule. really pretty what Ooh, we're looking yeah. at on the screen there right it is, there, too. right there. Closets yep. by Design. Janine can help you out. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was great. Great advice there. Hey, Brooke, 948 right now.